Welcome back to Mrs. G's Living. So I went to Target to check out their new Future Collective launch. And so the first item that I tried on is this leopard print jacket. I tried it on an extra large. It retailed for $70. I would say you can go with your size or size down if you wanted a more form fitting coat or if you wanted to layer it, go up a size. I don't think this was worth $70. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was underwhelmed with this launch. I didn't really like most of the items in this launch. So, so take that as you may. I feel like the launches previous to these last launch was actually more better and offered a variety of quality clothes i felt like this launch the clothes were kind of flimsy to me i don't think this jacket is worth 70 dollars next i tried on this burgundy hands made tail dress what attracted me to it is the ruching or the elastic band at the waist i tried it on in a medium it retailed for 38 dollars. however i felt like the material was just not of good quality um it wasn't my favorite. I don't think it was worth $38. And it would require a lot of ironing and steaming. So then I would try on the famous uh, velvet bomber jacket. This retailed, I believe, for $52. Now I tried this on in an extra small, so it does run oversized. The dress runs true to size. This runs oversized, so you can go with your regular size or size down. What I didn't like about this jacket is that it has a zipper, it has a button, and then you have to tie the ties. Ugh. Next, I would try on this silver aluminum dress or skirt. Um, I actually like this. I tried it on in a large. I believe it retailed for $45. I would say go with your size. So a medium would have fit way better, but I wasn't intrigued with it enough. So I passed. And then as far as the top, this is a crop top. So you want to go with, I'm a medium size large. Um, I went with a large because it is crop top. This retailed for $30. And next I tried on this lace dress. This was not, I tried it in a size large. I believe it retailed for $45. And what I hate about it is that it, I didn't notice that it had a slip up the, uh, a slit at the side. It just giving me funeral vibes. I would, I would not purchase this. I don't think it's attractive at all. It's shapeless, not my cup of tea. Next, I've been seeing this all over the internet. I don't think this is worth it. The top, the bottom retail for 30, I believe the top retail for 35. I feel like the feathers were flimsy. As soon as you wash this, the feathers are gonna go away. Um, and you can see the outline of the pockets. I bought, I tried them both on in a size medium and I really feel like that it is just not worth the price. I feel like you could buy this from Shein for like 10, $15 and that would be an okay price for this type of outfit. I don't think it was attractive at all. Next, they had the stirrup pants that I was interested in. Now that was of good quality. They had them in an extra large. It was, as you can see, too large for me, but I would have bought that if they bought it and um, had it in a large. Now they had this mustard shirt. I believe it retailed for $35 and it actually had oversized flower. I actually like this, but in all honesty, I was just like, where am I gonna wear this to? This is just gonna be another work shirt that I'm gonna put in my closet and then forget about it. So I end up not purchasing it. But yeah, like I said, this launch, I was really underwhelmed. I don't know what's going on with the quality of the items. Next, of course, I had to try on these Pum Pum shorts. And now they have a top that goes with it. I believe the shorts were $30. Now back in the days, I would have rocked this with no issues, but I'm a woman of a particular age. And I was like, I tried it on in the size medium and it was, it was a lot of legs, a lot of legs. This more of a, not even a pom-pom shorts, this more of a panty, panty boxer shorts. And I just could not, I couldn't. Like if I were to purchase this, I would have to wear it with an oversized jacket that covers the back because it was just too much bum out for me. And I was just like, no, nah, I'm gonna leave this for, you know, the Gen Zs. I'm gonna leave it for the, the younger generation because no ma'am. Maybe, and there may be some people in my generation that can rock this well, but that is not me. 
last but not least i actually bought this dress sight unseen i bought it in the um the yellow color so i wanted to try it out in the black and i love it in the black as well this is a um size medium i think it retail for 38 dollars this was by far the best item in that whole launch i wasn't able to try everything else on because they were gone by the time i reached my target but this dress was well worth it i think that this dress is a must have i just love how it has the balloon it balloon out figure and the bustier top like this was worth it this launch was mid underwhelming at best what's your thoughts